Welcome to our advanced exploration of Microsoft Excel. In this video, we'll show you how to lock certain values in your formulas. Now, in the previous video, you might have noticed that when I copied this cell, Control C to copy, and then pasted it, and here, and here, and here, and here, what this initial cell does is take the total value here and the shipping value and put them together for the total, the absolute total. In theory, if I copy this cell into these cells next to it, I want to take the next value and the shipping value for the total. and the next value and the shipping value for the next total. But if you just do a standard copy and paste, as demonstrated in the previous video, and let me just demonstrate that, Control C to copy and paste, 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 paste. Okay, that's fine as it was done before, but just to double check, now you see if I press F2 to view the formula, both values keep changing. So D22 here, which is correct, but then it tries to add it with C23, which is a blank cell, and obviously that doesn't work. So you want to use a feature of Excel that allows you to specify certain values not to change. So let's start with this cell, F2 to edit, and C22 is correct, and B23 is correct, but we don't want B23 to change. We do want C22 to change automatically to D22, E22, and so on. But D23 should not change. So what you want to do is, if you don't want B to change, then put a dollar sign before it. And if you don't want 23 to change, put a dollar sign in front of it. So we want both B and 23 to remain absolutes as they are. So they don't change. So OK, press Enter, and that's fine. No discernible difference. But now if I Control C and actually select all this and Control V to paste, it now works correctly. If I choose this cell, for example, F2 to edit, F22 is fine. The total at F22 is fine, which is 18. But B23 hasn't changed. So it's 18 plus 12 for a total of 30. So that's now correct. So when you're doing this, when you're copying and pasting across multiple cells, if you want one of the values to remain consistent, then you can just put a dollar sign in front of it as demonstrated to keep that value while the other value continues to change.